What is up, YouTube? We are uh, back in the lab today. My Ender 3 S1 Pro is down for a second. I gotta go run to the hub and go grab my package. I broke my heater temperature wire on that guy. So I just bought a new heater block with the heater temperature installed already. So I'm gonna have that back up in about an hour or so. But the main part of the video is about the Quiddy Tech X Pro. There's not a lot of videos out here about the Quiddy Tech X Pro. So I just wanted to do one real quick. But uh, yeah, it's been a pretty nice print. I had it for about a week, a week and a half maybe. And today I'm printing, I'm printing a bottle cap for this weed jar. Not a weed jar, just a regular jar, but you know, printing a bottle cap for this jar um, I printed the jar by accident, gold on the outside, black on the inside. I got the settings between the extruder colors mixed up, but I'm printing the cap black on the outside, gold on the inside. Let's wait till this guy moves out the way real quick. All right. Yeah, so I'm doing a test. Um, with this print, I didn't use an ooze shield. Um, I did use a prime tower. And I had the settings on a fuzzy skin setting. So this is the skin I wanted, which is pretty nice because it gives me something to have onto. But my main problem was with these little stringy things. So that's why I'm using a ooze shield right now. So, so really, it's just a test. So you know, I kind of want to see how things are going. Hopefully this ooze shield will solve that problem. And then, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, I really haven't seen a lot of videos about the Quiditech S Pro. Um, it's a great printer. Um, I haven't really had any issues with it. It's just the settings and the slicers, you gotta get pretty much on point. Cause you're working with two extruders pretty much strapped to each other at the same time. Yeah, but um, you know, I kind of enjoy it. You know, it's a very nice printer. Has at the Wi-Fi setting. Um, I can stick a stick, uh, you know, like a thumb drive in there, and pretty nice. So I should have my Ender 3 S1 Pro back up in about an hour, and also got a Voxalab Aquila S2. It's pretty much a clone of the S1 Pro. So I'm gonna probably have this guy installed later tonight. Um, put those filament in there and um, hopefully have all three running at once at the same time. But yeah, YouTube, I just wanted to give a little update. But yeah, the, an Aquiditec X Pro. It's a very nice company. It's a very nice printer. We really have had no problems with it. Only been a week so far, but doing a pretty good job. All right, guys, I'm gonna do more videos on the testing shortly. Um, I'm at 1.5 millimeters on the retraction. I'm at 30 on the speed, and this is printing at 0.2 with a 0.48 uh, line width. Alright folks, talk to you guys later. No easy out.